Hey, Trey, how you doing? All right, so I've got your latest iteration up. And but I, I just want to mention again, the, I mean, the effort and the, the amount of gauge, engagement that you're putting in this piece is, is to me, it's remarkable. So really great job. I really appreciate it. I think this thing is coming along just beautifully in large part due to your vigilance to this to this assignment. And um, I, I, you're working very hard and it shows the piece is fantastic. Let's go and take a look. Okay, um, just a couple of additional comments. Uh, nothing major. A couple of alignment issues, etc. And just, just, just a couple of basic comments. So, uh, the cover looks really fantastic. It's just beautiful. Nice job. My only recommendation here is to maybe add some typographic variety um, down here with the name. So you're using a nice combination of serif, uh, sans serif, and serif typefaces. But in the cover, you're just kind of uh, uh, concentrating on this this serif. I'm sorry, this sans serif. So maybe introduce the sans, the serif typeface for the title. This looks fantastic. Really super inviting. Really inviting. Um, one thing you could possibly do here in the deck head is increase the type size here, and or well, actually, and maybe change this to the actual sans serif just so it sets off a little bit as a deck head another possibility here is to bring the title down a little bit leaving some negative space so the, in other words the, the title page doesn't have to align uh, the top margin with the, the facing page but you could add a little bit he works with some negative space up here uh, reconfigure the the relationship between the image and this title area and then bring this deck head down span it two columns and increase the size either way i think it, either way it will work but i think right now we should we should increase the size just to, and the uh change the typeface just to indicate that the viewer that this is indeed some sort of an introductory and it's not where the story starts okay it's not a subhead it's not a tagline it's not where the story starts it's not where body copy begins it's a deck head and it should be um, obvious to the viewer just by looking before even reading that that's indeed what it is um beautiful typesetting here beautiful it looks like you've got your hyphens on which if you've noticed and you were the first one in the class to really branch out and really start working on a justified type so you probably noticed um, did you take a look at the the um, video tutorial on adjusting I'm sorry on uh, setting justify type and one of the things in there and also another thing that I had covered in the um, the rags video which rags aren't applicable to justify type as we know but look at the video anyways one of the things there in, in is to um, um, not use hyphenation when rag right when flush left rag right turn your hyphenation off and that will help you uh, well it, it, i shouldn't say it'll help it's a possibility that it will help your rags and then you can also consider turning them on the reason i'm bringing this up is because you're showing excellent proficiency with justify type i just want to make sure that you um have all of the assets and resources available for uh rag left uh i'm sorry uh, flush left rag right type and or uh flush right rag rag left type okay remember i said i had some comments on alignment, but I just found a, a, a widow. There's a typographic widow right there. So we don't want that. Um, really gorgeous paragraph. Beautiful, beautiful typesetting. Absolutely. Okay. Now, so I, I had mentioned the, the, the question. Remember I said the questions were kind of presented kind of midstream between the last response and the next response. So we pulled it down a little bit just to kind of make sure the viewer knows that that question is associated with that paragraph. So we can see the same thing about this subhead right here. So questions for the director. So there, it's equal distance. So what we want to do is bring this a little closer to this text moving on, just so the viewer knows that that's not associated with this text, but it's associated with the following text. Okay, um, continuing on page nine, nicely done. Really, really good typesetting. I know I've said that several times, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, but it's just you've done a gorgeous job here. Um, looking great, looking great. Check this typeset right here. I can't tell, and it could be an optical illusion based on the fact that the, the typographic uh, contrast is a little lighter on this page, being that the background's a little bit lighter, but this 
uh, letting looks wider than this wedding. So you definitely got to check that. To me, that that letting looks looks much looser. So be sure you check that. Really super important. We got our uh, old style figures. We've got our small caps. You got it all, man. This is this is really really good stuff. Okay, continued from page. That might be a little bit close to to the, the to a no print zone. That's pretty close to the top of the page. Um, you've got your top margin set up. I mean, yeah, boy. Technically, you could pull this down on the line edit here because th this area could feasibly be left for just a a title area. So credited work, so you're preserving the margin there. I mean, it it's not important. It doesn't matter if you want to pull this down and align it with the top. This spread will look better, but we'll lose a little consistency on the top margin. So th I just want to bring this to your attention. It's okay the way it is, but but you can also think about pulling this down, bringing the continued on page down a little bit. So so think about that. Like I said, it's really not a critical factor at this point. Um, Great, great, great. Good bullets. Nice job. I, I'm perfectly fine with the center alignment here. Perfectly fine. I mean, this is credited work. It's not like somebody's going to read through these. They're just going to skim through, find the years, and find the associated um, work with that year. So, so I'm perfectly fine with that center alignment there. This is good. Good stuff here. Um, okay. Technically, good job uh, formatting your references, by the way. Technically, I'm looking at this to see if that should be a hung punctuation, but it's since based on the distance between the numbers and the beginning of the text, I don't see any benefit in, in hanging that. Uh, Open um, a parent that that left parenthesis and the the uh, uh, left quote. I don't see any 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 benefit hanging those. So that's just fine right there. Back cover looks great. All right, just really fantastic job here. So a couple of little minor changes and you are done. So really really good job. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. But um, looks like you might have a, a, a relatively relaxed week next week because, or you know, this coming week because most of your work is done here. So fantastic, really really great effort. Good job. I'm loving it, Trey. Just loving it. Okay, any questions at all? Please let me know. Thank you very much.